Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Our colleague Phoenix here, and wow, it has been a long time. It's been like three weeks to a month since I posted one of these videos. My god. I am so sincerely sorry, but Christmas and the holidays have been insane. You know, I've been extremely busy, and also been playing a lot of Call of Duty with some old friends, so... I've been finding it very hard to pull myself away from doing that. Get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Well, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens, go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Why so much hostility towards me? Come on, it's like he knows. I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the... Wagon up there? Ah, oh, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. Thanks, mate. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton, how fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kinda... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, Man. when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. How much anger? I swear Abigail just secretly hates us all the time. The come on, I'll do it. You hey, are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Mm. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. So this is very true. Too personal a question. Are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Now, just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. One cow. One single cow. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Yeah, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Oh, 
god, get ready for this mini game. Oh. You got the hang of it. Almost got a pail full. Do you like that shit, Betsy? Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all That's gotta earn our deal. keep. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. Don't fuck it up, Lancelot. How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In other words, I don't want to do that shit. Okay. Well, you get huh. the stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Oh, right. fucking okay. yippee ki yeah, Let's just try and take some pride in this. Press work. square when you need maneuver to scoop it out using Boy, the pitchfork. Bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Oh God, yay! You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. That stinks. Really? It's horse shit, my friend. Think your mother's hiding somewhere? Laughing at us? You almost got me. Lancelot, you need to calm your shit. I like the little cutscenes. Oh, there's just one turd left. Look at this horse shit. That's a lot of horse shit. Return the pitchfork. Your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Go to the house to speak, but there we go. Alright, Abigail. How much am I going to get yelled at this time? Because that's all that seems to happen every time I talk to her. She's like, you fucking piece of shit! You're hopeless hey. at everything you do. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Oh, won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, what do you know? Me too. Mm. Until... Dun 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 oh. Fair enough. I'll put some coffee on. <laughs> wow! Three dollars! I got a whole three bucks. That is incredibly. God damn it. Where are my other hands? Damn it, Abe. I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! 
Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. All right. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Well, since you showed up, runaway horse has been the sum of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Oh, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. It's oh. for pleasure. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. Sick. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Yeah. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Well, <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. Hey. That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Whoa, none of that. <laughs> Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. All right. Take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. Let's do it. Get the fuck out of my way, sir. Deplete his stamina. Yeah. Just tap X basically as fast as you can physically handle. Let's get a lather up. That's all you gotta do. Sharp turn, spam the shit out of it again. Go to Duncan and let him ride Jeremiah. Oh, barely made that. All right, he's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. Stay calm. The kid just gets bucked off and kicked in the face. You're calm. The heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. <laughs> Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? Mm. You think my son could borrow him? Huh? <laughs> Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll- hey, Easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but, but- Just 
worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. Just walking in fucking circles. I feel like I'm working at a carnival. You're ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You, Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. It's over here. All right. God damn it. This is going to be fun. Like, I get told to do that, and now I'm copping shit. So... You know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Fuck they all you. know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just to stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. What about you, bitch? Find them, Milton. Come on. Them Grip them. They are. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around. Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day. She wanted the dick. No, you really put that hand up that horse, you know, maybe you could do the same to me? My husband doesn't like being around too much. He goes into town and, uh, likes to roam around with the, uh, gonorrhea-infested, uh, ladies there. So maybe you could give me some attention. You're really good with your hands, I can see. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? Been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Motherfucker birthed the foal and didn't even wash his hands, by the way. Well, Abigail's walking around in just her nighty still. We're right, going out here doing all this shit. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. Man, you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. Yeah. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh huh. Confident. Yep. What the fuck was that? Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. 
There you are. Whoa. Hey. Now let's go. Jack. A little kick. Yeah. See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. That's all right. Don't let Jack go too fast. He may get bucked off the horse. I think this speed is fine. I don't know why I'm a little fast. Faster? Right, this is pretty consistent. A solid speed. It's not as fast, obviously, as the horse can go, but I feel like it's an alright speed. It's a nice speed. You know, this ain't so bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. Man, I'm having freaking flashbacks to the last episode all over again. How do I look? It's very There's sad. Keep at it. I want to think of it. Hmm. Okay. We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. I was gonna say we weren't going very fast. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. Oh. Come on. Fuck's sake, Jack, move your bum. Okay, we're just going to look at the stream. today sir yep we should get back you think you're ready for a little race I guess all right we go back to the path and up to the ranch okay on my go go catch you later boy and then Jack stacks it What did you think was going to happen, Jack? I've been riding for 50 years. No, not quite that long. I've been riding for 20 years. Next thing, he just speeds past me like a bullet belt out of Mario Kart and just destroys me. Ah, oh, shit. He faked me out. No, you won't. You don't even. Oh, you cheating prick! Oh, and he just sneaks in front. Oh, yeah, cunt hair. Well ridden, son. You won. This time. Whoa. But we both rode hard. And you're riding? It's got a lot better. Thanks. Hey, you keep practicing your riding. Sure. But a grumpy shit. Like he, he literally lost by half a horse. Hey. You give me a blowjob, Abigail? I'll get the coffee home. No, I want a blowjob. I don't want coffee, I want a blowy. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. Cleaning at the doctor's office. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Get the place tidy. Okay, Pa. Sucking the doctor's dong. <laughs> Ha 
Jack ain't gonna clean shit. Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Awesome. Now, yep. there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail. Line it up with a notch and place it in. This is pretty straightforward. Now, lift up the other side. You gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. Thanks, okay. sir. You're doing all right. Really? Doesn't seem that fucking complicated. Fine. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Why is he so... Why is everyone so fucking hostile all the time? Some of these aren't even straight. What the fuck up? I'm busy. I'm busy, fuckface. God damn it. Come on, son. Hurry. Hurry. Milton, get over here. Coming. I'm here. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. What do you want me to do? Yeah, I didn't see that coming a mile away. I gotta build that. Bad ball. No, 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 no. Back. Easy, easy, easy. 
It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. All better? Okay. <laughs> now come on, you hunger chuck. Stubborn, ain't you? <laughs> Let's go. You need to calm down. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> Good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. I think I do better than they do, to be honest. Now, the fence is fucked. What are we going to do about the fence? Oh, yeah, another three bucks. Watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Yeah. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy parents get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! oh, come on, get him now. Alright, fuck me. I couldn't stop him, Jim. Oh boy. They didn't hire you because you're tough. It's because you're stupid. Is it? Why well, you getting punched in the face? You're still talking shit. Oh great, Abigail's coming over to fucking stop it. Get off that man! Get off! He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here! Oh, quite a temper you got. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life, married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. God damn it. She's so angry all the time, but she does fuck all. It drives me insane. What do you want me to do? Be like, ah, just let him get his ass like ship pushed in or shot that's fine we all get caught eventually john i guess the trick is to decide by who now, is it now i won't hear any more of it you won't hear any of it not in front of the men you toad all right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. All right, so anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Red Dead Redemption 2 in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace.